21st. Okay. And after that, there will only be Michelle. If Michelle wants to, is that it? Hey, what Matt. about Matt? Matt, are you not Matt's not. Oh, oh you loser. <laughs> Why is that people not doing it? Loser. Just go up there, take the show for four minutes, and step back down. <laughs> <laughs> Especially in New Zealand. <laughs> Especially. All right, let's see. Currently in New Zealand, a 15-year-old can legally drive a car. New Zealand has the lowest legal driving age of the entire developed world. And a huge amount of recent motor accidents caused by young drivers has caused debate among politicians and country people alike. So the serious question here is, is it too young to hold a driver's license at 15? This question is very debatable because there are different views and opinions all around that are caused by young drivers. Young drivers with limited experience are put behind the wheel and can endanger the lives of not only themselves, but their passengers and other drivers raising the legal driving age. Here are some arguments for raising the legal driving age. There are no laws stating what cars young drivers can or cannot drive. As a result, a large number of teenagers are behind the wheel of cars that are over 2,000cc. These cars are very powerful, and with a few alterations such as rotary engines and lowered bodies, these cars can be dangerous if placed in the wrong hands. Boy races are all over New Zealand. Groups of teenagers meet on weekends and race their cars, spin wheelies, and stress their driving skills to the limit. Unfortunately, all too often, these boy races are behind the wheel of road accidents and fatalities. <laughs> young drivers are inexperienced and cause accidents. A problem with young drivers is that they don't have a large knowledge pool to survive. Does a young driver have the skills and experience to identify dangerous situations? Unfortunately, too often, the answer is no. And a lack of driving experience can result in accidents. New Zealand is the lowest legal driver young drivers on the road. Now here are some arguments against raising the legal driving age. Compared to other Western countries, New Zealand has a very poor public transport system. Buses and trains are irregular and the smaller towns non-existent. It is for this reason that we need to have a low legal driving age. Without holding a license, young people can find it extremely hard to get around, which is a hassle for both the youth and the caregivers. Also, increasing the legal driving age would not be fair for sensible young drivers. While young drivers are inexperienced and are sometimes the cause of accidents, it is important to realise that not all young drivers are a threat behind the wheel. Many young New Zealanders take offence to driving courses, stick to the speed limit and don't drink and drive, often in contrast to their older counterparts. Young New Zealanders have to hold their driver's license for a minimum of 18 months before they are allowed to take passengers in their cars. This is a good time for young drivers to gain experience and prepare them for the responsibility of passengers. If the law was better enforced, no young person would be able to get away with driving with passengers before their license allowed them. Now that we all have looked at some arguments by <laughs> and against the rising of the legal driving age, it is clear that there are some valid points that some valid points can be made in either case. Now it is time to look at some options in this debate, and you can make up your own mind on what would be best for New Zealand. Increase the legal driving age. This has both benefits and disadvantages for society. Place a legal limit on the power of cars young people are able to drive. Make defensive driving courses compulsory. Implement longer waiting times between learners restricted and full licenses. Implement bigger fines for young drivers who break the rules of their license category. Compulsory third party insurance. The sheer cost of insurance would make a lot of young drivers use this type of car. And finally, for a long term goal, improve our public transport system. But if you ask me, if the driving age should be raised or kept the same, my response should be obvious. I think the driving age should be kept the same because I believe there are many young, safe drivers out there that are constantly doing the right thing. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>